we are also going to do a number of other things. Uh, I, I note that uh, some folks on the other side of the aisle uh, in, and uh, in the other chamber uh, have uh, launched some criticism at the effort to uh, allow North Carolina to opt out of uh, the health care legislation, uh, allow individual citizens in North Carolina to opt out of that. And you know, we think that that has something to do with, uh, with jobs. We think that that has something to do with, uh, with the economic climate. We think that that legislation has a lot to do with uh, whether or not businesses can, um, uh, can be competitive. But we also think that it has a great deal to do with uh, pressures on our state budget. You know, the federal government basically dumped uh, a several billion dollar problem uh, on, on our, in our laps uh, by passing that legislation. The cost to North Carolina taxpayers of the additional obligations of Medicaid uh, under the health care legislation is enormous, uh, and we've already got serious problems. But, but here's, here's another thing, and, and it kind of goes to the heart, it seems to me, of, um, of, of what individuals have a right to expect from their government, uh, and it is this. Uh, the legislation that, that we're looking at to opt out uh, basically gives an individual a right to make a decision for himself or herself as to whether or not they, in looking after themselves, uh, are going to, uh, to, to have health insurance or not. And for the government to tell them that they must purchase a particular product, the question is, where does that end? And I think the decision we saw out of Florida yesterday you know, is, is kind of premised on, on that particular thing. But here's the other part of it. Uh, we have seen in the news um, interest group after interest group people or entities that have a uh, particular access to the current administration in Washington uh, be given waivers to um, not have to comply with, uh, with the health care legislation. Now, regardless of what you think about what's in the bill, and there are some good things that, that are in that bill, uh, but there's just something basically wrong uh, with the idea that if you're big enough uh, if you've got uh, the political clout, uh, if you donate enough money, or if you're important enough to somebody's election, uh, you can get access to uh, somebody in the administration and you can get a special deal. That's just not right. And I think the average person out there sees that, and I think that's the reason uh, you've seen poll after poll show that a majority of the people in this country think that the thing needs to be scrapped and we need to start over. said a little bit more than I expected to on that, but, <laughs> but, but I, fi I feel, I, 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 I feel very strongly about that, and, I, and my constituents feel very strongly about that, and, and I think the people of this country have a right to expect that when they elect somebody, that uh, the, the folks that are elected are going to do what's best uh, for, for the majority of people, not what's best for the folks who happen to have an ability to get into their office. Um, 